don't know. So Mac has a birthday present here. He's giving the kid 20 bucks. I gave him $20. Um, so he has a small box. How many boxes do you have here? I think there's like five or six. On one of these boxes, on the inside of the box, he taped outside. the money on the outside of the box. So it's not the final box. It's in one of the destination boxes or the journey boxes, not the destination. Anyhow, you'll have to let us know how it goes. And Hamish got a almond butter cup from my desk and put it in his card. It's Mac's friend, but then Mac is friend. Hamish is friends with one of the younger brothers, so he gets to go you too. The thing from Uncle Lincoln's shirt. I'm in shape. Round is a shape. <laughs> he wrote that on the card. Uncle Nathan had a sh shirt that says that. I'm okay. in shape. Anyhow, they're heading to the pool. <laughs> See, and I'm making butter. So I need the hose turned on to water the cows. The boys are at a birthday party. The babies are sleeping and Freya's inside listening for them. So I called the house, hoping to get Freya to turn the hose on, but apparently she doesn't know how to answer the phone. <laughs> so I guess we need to go over that, how to answer the phone. I guess the boys always run for the phone first. Freya doesn't know how to answer the phone. So I guess that's tomorrow's lesson. All right, cows, you'll have to wait until I can go turn on the hose. I gotta get milking. Come on. In we get. In we go, fat cow. The boys just got delivered home. I just saw them drive in. I knew they were gonna be home about seven, so I decided to just head out to milk. So I'll call the house in a minute. There we go. So I just lit the wood furnace. You can hear it. The fan going in the background for it because it's like a wood furnace with a ducting system. It's a wood electric furnace. Anyhow enjoying coffee and Matt comes downstairs and he woke up not feeling great so he asked if he could swap me milkings and me milk this morning and him milk this evening hard to deny him that one because if I wake up not feeling great or you know I'm not feeling great in the evening I'll swap him milkings so it's like minus five minus six which is like 18 to 20 Fahrenheit outside right now. We brought in part of the milking machine because otherwise it's stiff and it doesn't work amazing. But I guess I need to get my overalls on and go milk the cows. I do realize and acknowledge, however, like one of the reasons we're able to have two milk cows and milk year round versus like we used to just like have one milk cow and then they would have a break before calving and we wouldn't milk and I needed that break. But now that the boys milk, it's more sustainable for us to milk more cows and keep our family in milk year round. If I was the only person milking, I would not wanting be wanting to milk two cows year round. Although you're kind of like six months of milking two cows and then each cow has three months or so where they're the only one milking. So it's kind of like half the year you milk two cows and half the year you don't. So pretty quick, we're gonna wrap up and only be milking one cow until March. Yeah. You got all the ice busted? I'm trying to break this stuff in the milk. This stuff right here is the hardest. This week it maybe is gonna snow. Are you excited for snow? Yeah. This is not the fun part of snow. You might slash yourself on the ice and you have to break this. I'm gonna help the cows come. Cause now the cows are coming? Yeah. First snow of the year have, has arrived. Can you even see it? Can you go tell Mac? I'm not no, sure. Just stay on here. See, I got soup warming up for lunch. These are just some potatoes and onions. Eggs to be eaten and washed. Sourdough starter and a beef roast for tomorrow night's dinner. And then that cheese I made the other day is brining. Oh, yes, that is. And the first snow day, we always watch Stephen Brian 
Thanks for seven brothers. Well, that's the first storm of the year. This looks good enough to me. I don't think this is a storm. It's pretty dry, so it's sticking too. Yeah. Mm, it's really dry snow. It's not quite hail, but it's very dry. Well, let's hope it sticks. Well, sure it's supposed to, to get warmer sure and melt. It's sticking to my socks. <laughs> yeah. How is it, Rowan? How is it to catch on your tongue? Rowan, you catching it on your tongue? You gotta just stand still with your tongue out. Should we bring the puppy in? Yeah, you should bring the puppy in. I'm too good, too good, too good. So with the leftover soup, I made these um, fermented sourdough biscuits. So they sat overnight without the baking powder and baking soda. I don't think you're gonna get enough to sled. However, I used part fresh ground um, kamut flour, Corzan, and it kind of messed with my hydration a bit, which is why they spread, but they look nice and browned and delicious. And uh, Mac isn't, is still not feeling good. He said that his head feels like he got hit with a two by four. So, no, we're not. I'll go see Mac. Um, I'm hoping Mac might want to eat a bit of a biscuit. So, that would be good. I... The snowflakes being this big means that really it's going to start raining soon. What do you think of the snow? This is your first snow that you really remember. So we got sent this case of DB's Organics Freezies and they're like all real fruit and such. I just dropped it on the ground. Anyhow, I was like, it's winter. That's kind of weird, but my kids are stoked anyways. However, with Mac being sick, I was like, do you want something warm or cold? And he was like, I would like something cold. I was like, hey, how about a freezy? And he's like, that would feel really good. So, coming in handy. So, Marius is away hunting, although by the time you see this video, he'll be back. I'm going to admit that having Mac sick and Marius gone, it's a bit much. I'm thankful it's Sunday when we had already planned to have a day of rest and not do anything. Um, cause yeah, without my two main big helpers. Okay, my husband's not a big helper. You know what I mean? Without my teammate and without my big helper, Mac wants another popsicle. So, I'm gonna deliver that. Kids are having an afternoon snack no. of hot chocolate and raspberries. frozen raspberries. Are you all done yours? Yes, and I made whipped cream for their hot chocolate. Amos just has some goat's milk hot chocolate first. You'd like more, please? More, please? Can you say more, please? You want some more? We're having a very basic dinner tonight. The kids wanted, like, uh, you know, Mr. Noodles type thing. Um, Mama, but these ready. are gluten-free ramen noodles, Lotus brand and home canned broth. I added in some turmeric and celery seed, which gives it that beautiful just color two. and flavor. Mom, I get two spoons or that. You just need one spoon, I think. No. And I warmed up some leftover chicken wings. So, are you ready for dinner? If your family is hooked on that like Lipton chicken noodle type thing, Adding, adding turmeric for color and celery seed for taste really help mimic that sort of thing. Um, I mean, you need to have a flavorful broth as well. I'm a big fan of um, Broth Academy. Since I started using her broth methods and recipes, our broth is so much better. Um, I'll link to a free ebook that you can get from her. Um, she also has a course that so the Broth Academy, it's only open like once a year, twice a year, I think. So it is open this week. So that's pretty exciting. That definitely, I make a lot better broth now. I kind of just used to make flavored water. I make good broth now.
kitchen is tucked to bed for the night. I have a times four batch of soft sourdough uh, pre-ferment going. I refed my starter. I actually have no discard right now and I want some discard for making some different things. So I fed it a bunch even though I don't really need it for active bread baking for a bit. Cheese is gonna sit for another day. This roast is still very frozen, so I'm leaving it out because first thing in the morning, I'm gonna throw it in the crock pot. And that's about as clean as this kitchen gets, friends. At this point, Marius has been gone for five days and I am admittedly starting to miss having another adult in the house. I miss him for sure. Although, we're at a point where like we have enough capable kids that like when he goes away, I don't, like when the kids were little, I was like devastated by not having his help when he would go away hunting or fishing. Now it's less the help and more his company. He's my person, I miss my person. I legit remember sitting down on the driveway and crying one time when he left to go away for a long weekend. We are no longer there. Um, now it's like, okay, he's gonna be away. We'll have different fun adventures. And it's all good. However, not a fun adventure was Amos smashing a mug. I can't decide if I'm gonna do something with it or not. Any ideas what I should do with it? The one thing that I'm not in the routine of doing that Marius always does is putting the house to bed for the night. Turning off all the lights, locking doors and all that sort of stuff. It's a Marius job and I always, it escapes my mind until the last minute. There's rice for rice pudding in the Instant Pot. There's a recipe on my blog for that one. A pot of chai that's a loose leaf, ready to be pushed down. This is butter, milk, sugar, and salt for a big batch of soft sourdough master recipe. Um, here's the roast from last night, getting doctored up and put, and put in the crock pot. And here is the startings of times four batch. It is like raining sideways out here this morning and the cows are far out. I'm surprised they're not bedding closer to the barn, but apparently they still want to bed in the field. So yay for walking out in the field in the dark in the sideways rain. Come on cows, milk time! Cobus! Cobus! That's how my papa always called cows. Yelling, come boss. Co boss. Come on cows, milk time. I think I see a set of eyeballs. I guess we'll just hope they're cows. <laughs> okay, but I do have sky blue here, so we're good. Freya's got Cleombrotus. Okay, I think I got a cow coming. Freya's got Cleombrotus and she's getting the goats. Come on, cows! So yesterday it like snowed, it rained. But really when you look just a little bit below the surface, the ground is still dry. My boys have been asking me about having fires out at their fort again and they're like, it's been raining. It's like, yeah, but it's not actually wet. When you look at the ground, it's still pretty dang dry. So this is the pulsator. It's like a spring and a gasket, I think you'd call it. And we bring it inside right now at night because it gets stiff if it's cold. So I hold the claws. This is the claw and then these are the inflations. 
they're worn in enough now that if I hold them, they kink themselves if I hold them on the right angle. So I only have to hold two and the other ones can just be. is on the backyards bright as a crack of dawn front walk looks like runway lights it's kind of like noon in the dead of night why do they have every light on why is this necessary i'm not sure but they do they do